Hi, today we have some top tips on Microsoft OneDrive for you. Our first tip is scanning files on the mobile app. You want to open your OneDrive mobile app and you should be able to see a camera in the middle at the bottom. If you click on this, it'll bring you straight to the camera and then you can then align it with the document that you want to scan. I've used this brochure as an example as I want to send a client these specific figures that I'm going to show you now. If you can see, there's still some white bits around it, so we're just going to crop it to exactly how we want it. So it's a perfectly scanned document. Once you're happy with it, you just click on confirm in the bottom right hand corner. And then from there, you can crop it some more, add any filters you want. When you're finished with that, you click on the button done. And we're just going to save it into our documents. So save it into the file that you want it saved into. And then you can see it's going to come up there for you. And it's a perfectly scanned document. Now we're going to go on the OneDrive web browser and we can now see that the saved document that we've just scanned comes up on there in high quality. From here, we now have the options that are listed at the top. So we can share it, print it, download it, copy it, and even see the version history. This is a super easy way of scanning and sharing paper documents. Our second tip of the day is viewing version histories of files. So we're going to go into our web browser and we're going to go in Office 365 and find OneDrive on the left hand side there. So now we've clicked on that, we're going to find the file that we want to view the version history of. So once we've clicked on this, we need to go to the ellipsis on the side there and go down to version history at the bottom there. So from here, if you click on this, you can then see all the different modifications that's happened to this file. And then from there, if we click on the ellipsis again, we can choose what action we want to take from there. So you can restore the old version, you can open the old version, or you can delete that old version. So if you're not happy with the how the file is now, you can go back to a previous version. Our third tip of the day is restoring your files. So we're going to stay on Office 365, go ahead back to OneDrive there, and we're going to just show you how to restore a file. So if we go into our recycle bin, if you've accidentally deleted a file, you can find them in here and you have 30 days to recover these. So I want to recover both of these files that I've accidentally deleted. So we're going to click on them and click on restore there. From here, your files will go back to their original place. Now, if anything bad should happen where you found all of your files on OneDrive have been lost or deleted, you can restore the whole of your OneDrive. If we go into our settings and click on restore your OneDrive here, it will then come up with this page where you can select a date for when you want to restore it from. So if everything got lost a week ago, yesterday, or a custom date and time, you can then choose the date and time that you want and restore it from that date. You can then see all the files that have been compromised and undo these changes by clicking on restore. That is our last tip of the day and we hope you find these tips useful. Subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks.